Welcome back, everybody, to Gutsy Hunter TV. Glad to have everybody here with us. We're back on Fishing Planet to continue our how-to series uh, and leveling guide. So we are going to pick up right where we left off. Let's see what we have for missions now. So we've got the Les the Lesney Villa exploration, huh? All right, let's go ahead and get going on it here. We we'll get uh, a collecting mission too that we might take a look at down the road. I'm not gonna worry about those so much. So let's go ahead and leave. And let's uh, spin the globe. Let's see here. I guess a basic license here. Uh, we're just going to do the one day. And uh, I think that's all we need for now. Back to the globe. So one day is going to cost us another 120 bucks. That's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we needed to catch here. Okay. So the mission was for... Uh, European perch, silver bream, impression, and common roach. Okay, so back to the map. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. Common roach. They like to dough balls. Worms, basically. Dough balls and semolina balls. Let's see. What do we have here in our, in our inventory? So we've got bait. Uh, we got the red worms, so that should catch the perch fairly quickly. Uh, I don't know that we can get... Oh, we can buy dough balls. No, we can't. That's level 5. So we're just shy of that. We can get some pearl barley. Uh, that might do well with the perch. Or not the perch, but the uh, silver bream at least. Okay, let's go get them. Oh, let's put that in our inventory. It is now. Okay, good. All right, all we've got still is our, basically our float rod. Um, we haven't uh, made it up through the missions yet to get the... Uh, so we've got our Lesney Villa Watcher. Yep, we don't need that anymore. So uh, we're, we're at the first peg here, aren't we? Well, let's go ahead and start. We'll start with the red worm, see what we can do here first. We may have to, uh, instead of doing a little catch like that, we may have to uh, cast it closer to the lilies there, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some targeting. Do some. Uh, so once again, to to let go of that, we're gonna push a F11 on the keyboard. Eleven. There we go. Helps if you hit the right key. See, do we see any fish playing anywhere? Oh, there's one right there. It is shallow there. All right. So let's go ahead and bring our bobber down a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's do, let's do 15 inches. And if we don't get a bite here quickly enough, we'll uh, throw on that pearl barley. We may even try some bread. Okay. 
Definitely some fish working up there towards the middle area. We can't look at the map while we're at a rod in the water. Well. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Let's get an idea of what we've got going on. Uh, so it's pretty shallow all the way around where we can cast with our float. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to pop down here just a tad. Any fish working up right here. Let's uh, get back to outside there. Okay. Oh, I'm on the wrong way there. Uh. Thirty five. So you walk behind us there. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and let's run some pearl barley real quick. Go to a Prussian spot that I'm familiar with. Well, when I looked at the map, that certainly looked like we are in peak time right now, but I'll be darned if we're to catch anything. Somebody got a pression. Well, if there are Prussians here, they're not biting at the moment. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bring that back down there. Let's go back to the map. Not that map. Go hit the other side here real quick. How far out do we can we get? We can maximize that. Let's 
If we get out there a meter. Let's try and see what happens. Definitely not a meter out there. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put that back down. Go back to 15 inches again. Well, bring this in a little bit, see if I'm just scooted by the bait there fairly quickly. <laughs> It is really shallow here. Um, now all we've got is our float, so. And let's go back to, let's try a piece of bread. See if we can wake something up with the bread. This lake is uh, much better off if you have a bottom feeder. We might have to spend some money and get a uh, bottle feeder after all. See, we had what, about eight grand? All right, let's go ahead and see what they have in the shop here. Ah, uh, see, feeder rod. Back Creek Pro. What do we got here? Casting weight is six to one and a quarter ounces. 
Line weight is two to six and a half pounds. Let's see what reel would we put on there with that. Five one, five five one. I think we'd have to go with the mini spin. Let's see, that's 3.4 pounds. Actually, while we're here, let's uh, do some other things here first. We need tools and equipment. We need a rod case. That hold two rods. Okay. That's 6,900 we have left. What about a bottom rod? The bottom rods available here. Okay, so then we need, what else do we have left here? Need line. Pound test. Three pound test. How much is there? 150 yards. It's really not anything out in this lake that would be able to pull us. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so then we need a leader. Uh, let's see, cage feeder. Uh, you know, a half ounce is uh, plenty for us. Put that on. So we need a leader and a bell. Can we afford a floor leader? They don't have a floor leader here. Uh, so I'd like to have close to three pounds as we can get. It looks like 2.6 is it. Okay. So we just need a bell. It's a simple bell is all we need here. Okay. Uh, as far as ground bait, have some cold water. Uh, light spiced blood worms. Uh, let's see, I guess. Can't hurt. Um, do, do, do.
Okay, let's go ahead and put on our pearl barley here. And here we're going to put on our worms again. Okay, we are ready. Let's head back over here. Six foot there. Oh, I got that stuff up there, don't we? Let's get rid of that. We don't even see that. I'm trying to remember. Need to get a fish holder. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Got our first fish on finally. Sorry it's taken us 23 minutes to do so, but got him. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got our silver bream right off the bat. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can catch uh actually let's do this first. Uh we need Rod stand. Oh we're not oh we're not big enough to do it. Oh shucks. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and put some bread on. Tackle's too heavy. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the... Oh, well. Guess we lose it. <laughs> Yes, we lose it, my friends. Is that slack out of the line there? I'm hoping that we can catch uh, pressure with bread. We should be able to. I mean, there's not, to me, any difference between dough balls and bread. Um, so... We might get a faster bite rate with dough balls, but in this case, I'm not going to stress too much about it. Oh, never mind. Let's see what we got right here. That'd be a roach. It is a roach. Hey, okay. let's see here. Oh, we're at level four now. Close that. Let's go ahead and uh, 
There's got to be some carp right around here, too. So what do we got left? We got a perch and a Prussian carp left, huh? All right. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. All right, we've got our next fish on here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's our Prussian. Nice, nice. We're doing all right here. Let's go ahead and switch this over now to worms. See if we can entice us a uh, perch. Let's see. Fish pulling up right over here. Nice and sandy. Perch tend to like that. They also like the grass cover, so. Oh, they let a bite pile. Didn't let him bite long enough. Now he's on there. All right. Let's see what we got on the worm here. Like another roach? No, oh, another Prussian. Excellent. Let's see. I think we got some grassy bottom there. Make sure I always reel up that slack if you don't have a pull holder. So. Got a fish on over yonder. Northern pike. Nice. So far, we are not getting a nibble on this. Let's go ahead and... Uh Get out there past the fish where they're working up and see what we can do there. Back into the grassy area. That'll work. That'll work.
Okay, well, so let's do this. Let's head back over to the other peg again. I do know there are perch on that side over there, so. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm going to try a trick here. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. That up to 12 inches. And let's go ahead and put on our red worms. We already have it. Okay. Oh, I got him a trophy. Nice. Oh, what do you mean he was taken out of the water? Well, fish jumped completely out of the water there. Holy cow. Well, maybe the perch aren't right here. Hmm. There we go. Come on. Why am I not? I set the hook. I swear I did. Now it's going to get snagged, isn't it? Oof, we got lucky there. Let's see if we get another bite here. Usually the perch is the easiest one to catch. <laughs> oh, heck. All right, come on now. There we go. There he is. And we have wrapped that one up. Another thousand, and we got an amount of leader. Nice. Okay, what do we have left in here now? So we can do Lone Star 2. Catch the pond weed, huh?
tree barks, branches, underwater trash. So looks like we're back to Lone Star again. What do we got? Oh, this, this is all the lure fishing. All right. We'll go ahead and track it real quick. I'm not worried about losing ground bait. We can always purchase more, so. All right, so it's back to the old Lone Star again, guys. Every kind of fish on this lake. Okay. Ah, we're going to be... Real is this? This is point seven five pound. Let's take a look here. So value cast five three. Line is this two pound test. Mm. No, we can't even buy that yet. Oh, all right. Spinning rod, we can get an elemental. Um, what have we got on that? Three to seven pound line weight. One sixteenth to a third ounce. Okay. Shop. See, that's a 2.75. Home storage. Backpacks full. See, I don't think we have any lures built in. No, we do not. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One sixth. Let's uh hmm. hundred and thirty for the third ounce. Okay, so we've got a silver and a gold. Go ahead and put on the gold first. I don't think. Dick. 
Can't buy any titanium leaders for the pike. Okay, well. Let's head in. So it looks like peak time is going to be right around two. We may have to do a move time forward a little bit. So let's see if we can get a few of these out of the way here. We need a pickerel. I don't have any pet. I don't have any pet food. That might be tough to get the old. All right. Let's see, usually if I cast at that tree. A little stop and go here and see if we can attract a bass at least. So a stop and go is just simply you letting it fall a little bit and uh, picking it right back up. So usually, you know, about a second. If you want to get more, you just kind of keep it at a faster turn. Or you can speed it up here. Okay, so that didn't quite get us what we wanted. Oh, we had a bite there. Missed him. The thing you do is bounce off the bottom like that. Go ahead and drop that down to two again. I don't see any fish working up, unfortunately, and that's kind of the... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'll let this one go down to the bottom here. Let's see what we can do. Give it a, about three seconds. We may have to try a twitch. That might work as well.
We're not having a lot of success here. Okay, so let's uh, change it up here a little bit. Let's look over this way. Well, heck. Let's put the silver one on. <laughs> so let's go ahead and... And we'll do a little Twitch and see what happens here. So the Twitch, uh, at least the way I do it, um, is I will go ahead and keep the rod tip up. I think we have to change time though. I don't think uh definitely not doing any good this way. Hey, okay, let's go ahead and change time. So we push the T key. Uh, that'll go ahead and bring up the fast forward time screen. And then we are going to go ahead and let's go ahead and hit just before peak peak. So, all right, let's go ahead and throw this back out here. Back at our tree again. There we go. Let's go ahead and we'll put that up there a little bit higher. This rig makes it a little tougher to get it in, but still, so it should come in pretty good here. Should be a spotted bass. Yep. There we go. Yeah, we gotta release them because we don't have uh we don't have the uh license, the advanced license, so that's all right. All right, let's see if we can get us a pick roll on this side here. 
Now, pickerels, they tend to prefer the the drop. So I'll show you guys how I do that one as well. So I let it go down to the bottom. Once we have that, I reload the slack, and then I pop it. Slack, pop it. And we may or may not get anything on this one. That's okay. We need to. We'll do the stop and go on that one as well. I wanted to show you the lift and drop as well. So now you've seen all three uh, spinning methods. I mean, there's other ones as well, but those are when we get higher, a little higher level. We start using like top water lures and stuff like that. But this is uh, your main three that you'll go to. Got another. Spotted bass. All right, let's go ahead and try over here. Now, pickerels typically prefer the narrow spoons. We may have to go see if we can go get one here, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that we can get one quite what we need on the right now. So oh, we got our snag undone. What do we catch? I wonder if that goes towards our other mission. Uh, let's see. No, it didn't because we didn't. Uh, we didn't put it in our backpack. Oh, well. Usually these pickerel are near the shoreline, so. Let's go ahead and throw along the shoreline here and see what we can do. We may have to go down by the weeds, but give it a shot here.
We may go down by the weeds there, just ahead of us. What do we pick up here? We got a trophy crappie. <clears throat> we'll keep him. some more weed here, huh? <laughs> Oh, we got something good here. What do we get? Could be our chain pickerel. Looks like it could be. It is, it is. Nice. Nice, nice. A oh, grass pickerel, sorry. Uh, so we need a smallmouth buffalo and a channel catfish. Uh, let's see here. That food leeches. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Semolina balls. Might be able to do bread on that one. I don't think... I don't think we can get pet food yet. No, we can't. So, let's go ahead and swap out of this. Let's go ahead and put on a pearl barley again. Let's go see if we can cut. I used to have a really good fishing hole over here for the... Uh, Uh, for the small mouth. Let's see if it's still a good hole after all this time. Let's see. Mm, right about there. All right, let's see if we can get a smallmouth buffalo here. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Definitely not big like a buffalo, so I don't think that's what we've got here.
Well, it's a golden shiner. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and keep going here. There we go. Now that one might be a buffalo. We might have a buffalo here. Going to do a little running on us, it looks like. If we need to, we can bump up our... Yeah, I think we need to. Not like that. Probably not that high. Oh, dang it. That's right. Oh, I forgot about that. It's painful. Oh, wait, I still have a leader, don't I? I pumped it up too high. All right, let's see here. Well, that was him though. That was the Buffalo we needed. Let's go ahead and drop that down one notch. I think we got us another buffalo here. Started swimming towards us there. Come on. There we go. There we are. Very nice. All right. Now we've unlocked some kayaks now and got some uh, additional poles and stuff. What else do we get in here? Very nice. All right. Well, what we're going to try... Ah, I, all we've got is, unfortunately, we just got the worms. It says I eat worms here. So let's give it a whirl. I know that uh, catfish, I've caught them in the past. Where's the middle here? I'm in that hole right there, so we need to get over this way a little bit. Do, do, do. Let's see, are we there? You are? Yep, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and take off the pearl barley. Let's put the worms back on.
see if we can get us, get us a little catfish here. Pet food works a heck of a lot better, though, when it comes to catfish. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. Bye bye. I don't think it's a catfish, though. Coming in too easy. Let's uh, get it right back out there. We may have to get leveled up enough to where we can get uh, some pet food. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully. The other way to catch them is through a float, dropping it down as far as you can. Um, but obviously we took the float rod out of our inventory so we could bring the spinning rod in the bottom feeder. Hole doesn't seem to be producing very good right here. Let's do this. Let's. Nope. We we're just getting a bite too. <laughs> oh well. Let's throw. Yeah, it's sort of towards the. See what we can do here, guys and gals. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be able to catch this fish in just the next few minutes. If not, we'll have to just put it up and do it on the next episode. But we'll give it a whirl here. Got a bigger fish here. Let's go 
Golden Shiner. All right, guys. I think what we'll do, we'll wrap it up here. I'm going to have to see what we can do about uh, getting these guys next time. So uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out on this video. Hopefully you guys are learning something. If you have any questions or comments or wouldn't uh, know something, please leave me know down in the comments. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, also I'll include the links for our Twitch stream as well as our Discord, uh, community Discord. So love to have you guys be part of both of those. If you guys so desire, make sure to hit those links and uh, join in. Uh, but as usual, thank you so much for that love and support. And until next time, take care.